Rolls of toilet paper are hard to come by now. But what I find the world to be most depleted of isn't something you can find on the shelves of a grocery store. You may find it upon the shelves of your mind, or within your heart and all its stores. It doesn't cost a dime, just an ounce of time. There is no waiting in a checkout line. It is happiness that I speak of, and although much of the world has something else residing in their systems, something that wishes to take, wishes to corrupt, I am certain that they have a trace of jubilance dwelling within their conscience. The virus. It's contagious. This is poetry, you know, so I mean that both figuratively and literally. Not only is it infectious to your body, it is infectious to society. A pandemic of panic. I may only be 18, but I never thought I'd live to see the crashing of the economy because of a disease, the seclusion of cities, flights so cheap, getting gasoline for next to nothing. The closing of my high school, a trip to Emerson College, the university of my dreams, that my family is on the verge of canceling. The promise of senior prom diminishing a yearbook deadline that is fast approaching. Is my class even going to be graduating? These are just a few of the things that affect me, but my heart isn't breaking for me. It's breaking for Italy. It's breaking for New York City and the Broadway industry. My heart is breaking for my town that I once saw so happy. My heart is breaking for Music City, desperately trying to cleanse its streets from a tornado that happened within the past couple of weeks. My heart is breaking for humanity. For those who chase peace, tranquility, and prosperity, who want nothing more than the means to fight this. Oh my god. Where is our happiness? Contentment is not a cure, but with it we could do more. That to me is worth fighting for. The shelves of the store may be bare, but we should not be. Right now I know it's hard to be happy. It's hard to go to work and make money. It's hard to sleep. It's hard to write this with positivity. It's hard to dream, but that's what I do best. The artists of the world should not take this time to rest. My ambition is really being put to the test but I will stand to test the time and deliver to you the elements of my mind in perfect rhyme. This is affecting all of us, artists or not, so I will not stop doing what I do. My projects will not be discontinued, but I stop to make this poem for you, to encourage you to keep doing what you do, to see the light shining through. Take care of yourself and wash your hands, and when this blows over, we can stand together, hand in hand, once again.